Cooper Cassius, IFL T. Do you think I interviewed too much? Me? Yeah. Well, you interviewed me in the office. You haven't done anything on Fight Week yet, like at the events. Wingy interviewed you yesterday. Yeah. It's not you, is it? Oh. I don't, but it's not the same with Wingy. I actually trying to be quite serious. I feel quite corporate with Wingy because I actually have a lot of respect for him, whereas I think you're just a plum. A knob. No, but seriously, Wingy, when I started out, Wingy was actually like, I thought he was a bit of a player. Do you know what I mean? So I always have that respect for Wingy where I don't want to be the knob or the prick or, you know, I want to just answer him properly. But with you, it's more like... You can be yourself. Well, you're Mickey Mouse, so I can be Mickey Mouse. You know? Oh. That's why it works, because, you know, I get to let my guard down because you're not very good. You absolute prick. <laughs> that was horrible, yeah. Now, I wouldn't have thought, someone like you, mm. I thought you'd be more of a weight pros man. Right. Or an M&S man. What is this? This is Asda. Is it? 100% well, it's an Asda. Yes, a, no, it's an Asda bag. There's a reason for this. Because right. Tony, Tony Bellew <laughs> just bought me one of his team tracksuits. Right. And I didn't know it was an Asda bag. And that just goes to show you the man. Because what man would come to me yesterday and go, do you want a team tracksuit? And I go, of course I fucking want a team tracksuit. And he brings it down in an Asda bag and writes on it long legs. And I realised on the back as well, he's steady. Because he calls me Steady Eddie instead of Fast Car. Can you actually just get it out then? Yeah. The tracksuit, that is. Yeah. Size? Well, I hope it's double XL, otherwise he's got absolutely no chance. These skinny legs aren't really the ones for me either, you know? There you go. And that's, that's just the training one but then we've got some more serious stuff in here we've got the t-shirts 11 degrees jd what sports. will you do with this stuff i'm gonna wear it aren't i you're gonna wear it but when after this weekend what do you do with it i'm gonna i'm gonna wear it forever because it's gonna remind me of a great man and a great journey six years i was trying to think the other day is he the longest Sort of, I say, serving fighter to match him, but longest current serving one. Yeah, and I think the answer is Kel Brook because I signed Kel before Tony, so and Kel's still fighting, so it must be Kel. Correct. But Kel and Tony are the longest, basically. I think Kel must be like seven years. No. Uh, six years, Kel. Six, Kel is six years. Tony. Yeah. Tony's six years. Um. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. And I'm so proud of him, what he's achieved. And tomorrow night, it's it. I can't do anything more. I've given my best for Tony Bellew for six years. I've delivered every promise I said I would deliver for Tony throughout his whole career. I've delivered it. And some. And the, the, listen, we never thought we'd get to a place where he would have, I mean, we'll forget about the Cleverly pay-per-view fight, but three back-to-back -back pay per view fights. And he's done it himself. It's not, listen, I've set it up for him and I've, I've obviously been outstanding myself. But he has forged this whole thing for himself. You know, from the BJ Flores fight, he's the one that called on Hay. He's the one that forced that and made that happen. Yeah, I put it together. You know, from there, the rematch, then this. He's asked me to deliver it, I delivered it. But he has to go and fight the best there is. You know, and I, I'm just, I'm excited for Tony to see how good he, like, like he says, how good am I? If I'm not good enough to be undisputed champion, I won't be him. But maybe there's other levels to Bellew. Maybe there's not. Maybe we're all just pissing in the wind and we're all deluded and Tony gets schooled tomorrow night and ends his career being a great servant of the sport, British Commonwealth European world champion, fought for the undisputed title. What a great legacy still. Or maybe he goes out tomorrow and becomes a true great of the sport. Forget British boxing. And my God, what a story it would be. But I tell you something, sometimes fighters go into a fight and you look at how can they win, right? And Tony Bellew has the ability to knock any cruiserweight out, I promise you that. But he has much more than a puncher's chance in this fight. He's cleverer than people think. But there are questions about Usyk that will be answered tomorrow. And like I said, maybe he's just, maybe he's just Lomachenko, Mark II, in which Tony's going to have a horrible, horrible night. But fuck me, is it going to be some experience finding out? This is, it's a dream come true.
Dream come true. For selfish reasons, do you want him to box on? No. I would, you... I would have been happy for him to retire after the hay fight. Regardless of what people think about me being a money grabbing arsehole, I'm not. And we could make, like, this is, this is taking a pay per view slot, right? I could have made another pay per view fight. So that, that sort of conveyor belt always, is always circling. But this is the fight that I wanted to make. This is the fight that I chose to make because it's the undisputed fight. It's the best fight in boxing. But I wanted to make it for Tony. Any other fight for Tony, I don't think, one, I would have been up for, or two, he should have taken. Andre Ward, Adonis Stevenson. This was the one, this was the ultimate test. And that's why he's taken it. And this is it, this is the last dance. This is the last dance. I mean, you were joking there with Dave Caldwell. I was going, oh, come on, Dave, cut it. Absolutely, 100%. The last dance. The last dance. So do you go down as an all-time great of the sport of boxing? Or do you just go down as a British great? Because I think he's earned that. You know, British Commonwealth, European world champion, fought for the undisputed title. He's a, he's a great of British boxing. Do you go down as a legend? Do you believe he wins? I can see him winning. I can't sit here and tell you he's winning this fight. I don't think... I mean... Although he'll tell you that, he knows how difficult this fight is. I can 100% see Bellew winning this fight. I can picture it in my mind. And I can see exactly how it happens. But I also know that Usyk is brilliant. But I don't know what Usyk's going to be like up close, under firepower, getting hit hard to the body, a little bit rough on the inside. I don't know. So do I believe he can win? 100%. Do I believe he will? Do you know, right now, if you ask me, I think, I think he's the favourite. Maybe I'm just deluded. And the bookmakers tell me I am deluded. But maybe I've just got carried away with this whole wave of support from Britain for Tony Bellew and the fact that he's suddenly become the people's champion rather than this loudmouth scouser. But being up on the stage, seeing him, I just fancy him. I just fancy him. But... Again, maybe there's levels. Maybe there's levels. But I know he can knock it. I know he can knock him out. Can he will he do it? I don't know. But I just I don't know. Do you get do you feel it? Do you see it? Something's gonna happen tomorrow night. Well, obviously. No, it's a fucking some... fight for the undisputed championship of the world. It's not what I meant. Just go with the tone. Drama, you mean. Something's gonna happen tonight. Something's gonna I can just tomorrow. I can you know, I just, I just boom, 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 bang, trade up left hook. I don't know, I can He's so explosive, I can see I can see that scenario. You know, it's not like he's a non-puncher and he's just gonna go in and lose on points and gain a bit of credibility. No, no he'll go out. Mate, like, he will go out, he'll yeah. give you everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you're tuning in, trust me, you can sit at home knowing this guy is going to give you everything. So we shall see. We shall see. But it's one day away. People forget that you promote both fighters. I know, I know. No, but I told, <laughs> no, I told no. Usyk and I told Alex Krasik. I just said to John Hornwell, their lawyer, these guys have been an absolute joy to deal, deal with. Mm. They've let me get on with everything. They've trusted me, even though I've got Tony Bell in this fight. We don't, we don't behave like that. We don't shaft people. We don't play games. I'm not interested in that. We do great business. All right? All right. So that's why I, I said, you know, I appreciate K2. And I said to them at the start, listen, you beat Bell you. We're off, and I'm, I'm riding with you. But I've got to tell you, Tony Bellew is my man. You know, a brother to, like a brother like to me is a little bit strong, but he is a very close friend of mine. And I, I'm, I'm not going to go into a fight and lie, and Bellew chins him, and I'm going to sit there and go, you know, I'm going to be up. I'm going to be fucking going mental. But Usyk understands that. I can't just, you can't just swan into someone's life like Usyk and go, yeah, like, imagine Usyk wins tomorrow night and then I sort of say, oh, well, I'm Tony. Oh, Usyk, you, you won't see me doing that. Can you do the eyes? Yeah, like the Usyk eyes. It's only because he upset me about my Paul Smith scarf earlier in the week. I put it around him and he was like, <laughs> I'm very clean. Do you know what you said? Are you? I was set, You're the first well, person who's well, ever actually like, trying to, to state yeah, that I'm clean. Trying to convince yeah. no, I don't people mean that I'm clean. clean. I don't mean clean, but no, I mean you're a dirty clean. bastard, aren't you? <laughs> hey, hey. Not on air, not live. <laughs> no, what I was, you said that. I was just saying that on William Hill earlier, that Eddie will be into the ring 
like a bat out of hell if Tony Bellew knocks out oh, Usyk. Yeah, yeah. Because even though it's a, it's we were saying it's a win-win-win for you this event. Yeah. Because you're yeah, getting the deal with Usyk, but yeah, but the thing is, even though it's scuppers. Oh, hey Davis, oh, one the kick. Oh, oh, the kick. oh, see the kick. oh it's all going up. What's he oh, oh, the oh, cobra, the no, cobra's not ready. It's the first time the cobra's back. Yeah. Yeah. Cobra. Oh, boy, then. <laughs> got cobra. Oh, yeah. The cobra got cobra. <laughs> That was about far from my new nose. <laughs> that far from my new nose, is it? That's what he's worried God, about. I'm really glad it didn't yeah, land. No, that's God, the first time I've ever seen the Cobra back out of a fight. Um, no, but you can't, you can't hide emotion. Like, I have made... Like, that's one thing you always get from me. I might, I might, be, I might embarrass myself. I might give everyone great memes. But I will always show emotion. Because I love sport. Sports my life. You're half Italian yeah. now as well. Hey, salute. Si, salute. What do you think about that? You've got the Italian exclusive. As Are well, you going to do the Italian shows? I will, but I'm not the first one because I'll be at Fury, Fury World. Oh, 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 mate. Well, you're Where picking, will you be? You're picking I'm, Fury. I'm, he's I'm coming to Italy. He's, he's already confirmed. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I already I'm, know he's not. I'm doing the Coogan show. Yeah. Okay. On DAZN with Eddie. Yeah. Carl Froch <laughs> believes that Callum Smith would knock out Golovkin. I think he's got an excellent wow, chance to do that. It's a so. great fight. It's a great fight. I want to make You spoke to Tom really Loeffler? Not in the last 24 hours. I mean, I've mentioned the fight to him before, which he quite liked. But does he want to come to England to, to risk, you know, potentially losing the Canelo fight, which it would, but it would be for the number one in the Super Remote Division, the WBA Super Title, and the Ring Magazine belt. So it's like you almost turn around to Canelo if you win that fight and say, can, can oh. I throw a question in here? Right, if you get two, if you manage to pull off two fights between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua next year, you get Canelo against um, Callum Smith yeah. at, at, at Anfield. Brooke Khan. Or Brooke Khan. If you go to Italy, I'm going to put ask William Hill to get some odds on. Will Eddie Hearn get a boxing event in the Coliseum in Rome next well, year think, at I some think, point? Do you know what I mean? And they've tried. That's definitely on the agenda. Scott Coker, if you're watching this, because he's trying to get yeah, Bellator yeah. there, yeah, yeah, could be the so. first two Bellator, yeah. Mm. That'd be amazing. I'm looking forward to it today. It's funny that the, the British market, although some fans won't agree, have become almost spoiled. Like, we're doing this show in Italy, mm. which is a European title fight, mm. and two WBC international. Mm. The response from the Italian boxing community is like, three title fights? Are you, are you serious? And like, mm. the UK fans like, don't think much of that show. Because over here, I would get absolutely killed for putting on a show like that. Mm. Even though it's a good fight, a good show with three 50-50s. But no one's heard of these guys and they're sort of minor titles. But in Italy, it's a very different market. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually be a hero in Italy. And I may end up just fucking over there because I'm not very happy being unpopular here. In, I'd in rather walk around the, Italy with people going, Hey, Mr. Hearn. The Bellator event in Rome a few months ago that I attended, by the way. Oh, 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 Mate, talk about gold footage. Two new. That's got to be its own footage, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look. Do you know what? I'll tell you what. That was important. You weren't budgie. No. No, I'm stupid. <laughs> no. no. And he had no idea who's no. behind him. Huh? I saw it. I was like, I know. I knew it was Froch. Yeah. I knew it was Froch. Yeah. That nose that's actually quite impressive. Good. No, that's no, quite but impressive. I, was, I was at the, the Bell Cobra gets Cobra. Yeah. 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 Are you alright that time? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I do really <laughs> love that guy. That could have gone a lot worse for you. Could have, <laughs> yeah. If you went, no, he was trying to trick me. If you went arse over to, have you seen me getting my pants pulled down by Tommy Coyle? No, oh actually, yeah, God, yeah, that was. Could have, oh, it could have been I, like that. No, I think I, I think I actually commented on it, which was, um, yeah, defend yourself at all times, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like you did. Um, but no, I, I went to the Bellator event in Rome a few months back, mm. and the Italian, the actual. The, the Italian fight fans mm. are rabid. You, the yeah. passion is yeah. extraordinary, <laughs> and but there's no. The they had an outdoor venue, M the, the International Tennis Centre. Yeah, it was big, amazing. MMA is big in Italy, but yeah, it is. boxing and hasn't Savate got that and scene yet. We need to yeah. get that scene back. Yeah. So yeah. we want to do this Teatro uh, in, in Florence. Beautiful. I'm sure oh, it is. Yeah, you'll have opera at yeah, the we'll, beginning. Well, I'm not sure about that, but we'll, we'll get, I want it to be rammed. Just yeah, get people yeah, going, wow, yeah. I think it's great. It, when, when boxing's at that level and has got 
it has, and, and it's had that kind of attention mm. for so long, mm. it doesn't take a lot to flick a few switches. Mm. I and mean, when you mm. think what we did in, in Britain to kickstart everything, we did Brook against Hatton at Sheffield Arena. With War of the Roses. War of the Roses. But that was the first time. And all of a sudden, Sky looked at the viewing figures and went, wow. And looked at the arena and went, wow. Then we did Froch Buta. And everyone went, boxing is unbelievable. Yeah, it's like, yeah, well, yeah, of course yeah. it is, but no one's ever tried. But it's Everyone's a bit different got, doing it in a leisure centre as opposed to doing it in a teatro de, yes, but, but de, de, de musica yeah, or, yeah, a, you know. Well, wherever that is. Yeah. Right. Oh. All right, go. Well, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, and, good. And, and, oh, listen, he got... Gareth, Gareth, Gareth. Whoa. He's ready. I'm ready. He's ready. I'm ready. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Gareth, you was ready. Gareth, you was ready. Does the co Gareth, you was ready. Tell him. Tell him. Does the Cobra do a trilogy or not? Yeah. I think you should. No, that wasn't. No, that wasn't. I was lucky. Yeah, don't don't get carried away, mate. You don't. I'm not. I'm not getting carried away. That mind you, the, I'm four stone heavier than him. That's you did, the advantage. You know when you went like that, literally, yeah. you just missed no, it. He's but concerned listen, about the noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the kick. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh. No, mate, fuck off. Yeah, you could block. Look at the bins, tables. He binned me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Gareth, Gareth, thank you, mate. No, 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 Gareth, someone will get hurt. All right, easy, Probably, easy. Mate. No, don't. He's on one, isn't he? Just stick it back there. Right. Can Let's we cut this now before someone gets trapped. Before someone gets trapped. Kids, <laughs> don't try this at home. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. seen that little girl beating up that guy on Instagram? No, mate. Like I, don't, I don't watch that kind of shit. No, no, no it wasn't. It was <laughs> <laughs> that girl and her dad. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm minding me nuts. Eddie, right. Hearn, <laughs> okay. Eddie Hearn, Gareth Davies, thank you very much for all to our Absolute pleasure. Bit, and uh, roll on tomorrow night. Absolutely. All the marbles, baby. Exactly.